Hello. Today, we're talking about macOS Sequoia 15.7.1. This is a fresh update released by Apple on September 29th. At first glance, it may seem like there's almost nothing new, but these kinds of versions are often the most important. They patch vulnerabilities, make the system more reliable, and ensure your Mac stays protected. macOS Sequoia 15.7.1 is available for all Macs running Sequoia. The download size may vary depending on your model, but on average it stays under 1 gigabyte. As always, you can install it by heading into System Settings and checking the Software Update section, where it should appear right away. The main purpose of this release is to fix a vulnerability in the system's font rendering engine. Apple highlights the issue in the Font Parser module, where a specially crafted font could cause an application to crash or even corrupt memory. In version 15.7.1, this flaw has been resolved with improved boundary checks, making everyday use of your Mac more secure and stable. On paper, it may sound minor, but vulnerabilities like this are exactly the kind hackers love to exploit. Open a file with a malicious font, and your system could be compromised in seconds. That's why Apple never reveals full details until a patch is already out it prevents attackers from getting a head start and targeting users before they're protected. As for day-to-day -day performance, you won't see any visual changes to the interface. And these security patches are designed not to slow anything down. In fact, they can sometimes eliminate hidden memory leaks or stability issues. After installing macOS Sequoia 15.7.1, your Mac may feel just a little more solid, especially during long sessions when it runs for hours without a restart. Battery life with this type of update generally remains unchanged, with no drop in efficiency compared to earlier versions. At the same time, even small patches can sometimes fine-tune background processes, so in certain cases, overall performance may feel a little smoother. Over the next few days of normal use, the real impact on battery endurance should become clear. Looking ahead, Apple is expected to continue releasing similar small security updates for Sequoia, at, mainly to keep older systems protected while most of the development focus shifts toward macOS Tahoe. These minor patches will address vulnerabilities and ensure stability while the spotlight gradually moves to the newer platform. Alongside macOS Sequoia 15.7.1, Apple also released updates for iOS, iPadOS, watchOS, and tvOS. This makes sense, since the font vulnerability affected several platforms at once. So if you also own an iPhone or iPad, it's strongly recommended that you update those devices as well to stay protected across your entire Apple ecosystem. And yes, absolutely install this update. Even if it feels like nothing has changed on the surface, security patches are the type of updates you should never skip. They don't remove features or alter the interface, but they do safeguard your personal information and keep your system safe from potential threats. In the end, macOS Sequoia 15.7.1 is a quiet but important release. It doesn't add new wallpapers or icons, but it does shield your Mac from possible attacks. Update as soon as you can, and always remember to keep backups of your data. Let me know in the comments how the installation went for you. Did the download finish quickly, and have you noticed any difference in how your Mac runs? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video.